Hello everybody and welcome to the channel, it's Polyester here, and this is my second YouTube channel called Polypops, where I make videos about my hobby, collecting these Funko Pop figures you see here behind me. And well today we got another box from our friends over at Pop Culture in Australia. This one arrived the day after the box that I opened a couple of videos ago, and my son read the invoice, he says this is the one that has the thing in it that I want, so get to open it, get to making a video. So here we are. The box is uh, a little strange in size and shape here. I would have thought it would have been the same as the box that came yesterday. As far as I know, there's eight pops in here, so I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna crack it open and see. I don't know why it's a different size and shape box. Maybe it'll become more apparent as we get into it, or maybe it won't. So let's go ahead and see what the heck is, what is going on here? Yeah, I don't know why they packed it with... Okay. They put some newspaper in here, a little bit of padding. There isn't anything really that's odd shape. This all should have just fit in a case of eight like normal, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Did they put too many pops in here? Um... They did. There's nine in here. What? Can I order nine? I'm confused. Huh. All right. Well, I guess that, uh... Hang on a second. Huh. Yeah, I'll be darned. There's nine in here. But normally if I order nine pops, the shipping increases tremendously. For some reason, it didn't. Maybe because I ordered two of one pop and it didn't pick it up as a ninth pop for shipping. I don't know, but I got nine pops for the shipping rate for eight, it looks like. Because normally I only order eight, because if I order more than eight, then the shipping goes from $27 Canadian to $45 Canadian. So it doesn't make sense for me to order that ninth pop and pay an additional $18 in shipping charges. But uh, I guess what because I ordered two of the one pop in here, one for my son, then I didn't realize I was just looking at the number of items, not thinking it was nine pops. And I guess their shipping system didn't pick it up either. So that's a bonus. Okay, first pop out of the box here is Edgar Allan Poe. Wow, it's got a little tiny special edition sticker. Normally those are much larger in silver and this one's in white. Uh, Edgar Allan Poe glow in the dark and this has a glow in the dark skull from Part of the uh, authors or icon series here this is a um books a million exclusive you only get that from books a million or from pop culture so we got that one a lot of a lot of glow in the dark horror coming at you right now next we have there's the the familiar size for the special edition sticker this is gage and church from pet cemetery from stephen king they had a reboot of this movie and I, I saw that the reason they rebooted this movie is because they wanted to try and prevent Stephen King from reclaiming his rights the way you've seen um, uh, other uh, movie franchises do, like um, Wes Craven reclaiming Nightmare, Nightmare on Elm Street, or his estate did, I should say, since Wes has passed, or Clive Barker with Hellraiser, Victor Miller having written the script for the original Friday the 13th, those kind of things. So I guess because Stephen King didn't write the script for Pet Cemetery, the original, and it's an adaptation, that them making a reboot would prevent him from getting the rights back again. So it's kind of cheap, but, you know, Hollywood, it's all business, right? Anyway, this is a glow-in-the-dark um, Walmart exclusive for Pet Cemetery, And I saw that there's like a bunch of Stephen King projects in the pipeline to be made uh, Salem's Lot Children of the Corn and I have to wonder if they're doing it again Firestarter if they're doing it again to keep him from reclaiming those rights which is ah oh, geez Hollywood's a business right it's a shame but it is what it is I guess but I, I want to see Salem's Lot and Children of the Corn again things like that so who knows another glow-in-the-dark horror this is the creep from Creepshow Special Edition. This was a Walmart exclusive. Let's see, any more uh, horror in here? Yep, yep, okay. 
one more for the horror gang. This is from Bram Stoker's Dracula movie. This is Vlad the Impaler. This has a pop culture sticker on it. Now this goes back to uh, before they were unifying the Funko Shop stickers. And pop culture was Australia's vendor for Funko Shop exclusives. But they didn't have the Funko Shop sticker on them. They had their own pop culture sticker. So this goes back to that. And this was, as I said, Funko Shop exclusive. I never did get it. It wound up selling out of the shop. Uh, not that they mailed to me anyway. Normally I would get my Funko Shop stuff mailed to my mom's house. But after three years, she was like, son, I have enough of your stuff here. You haven't been able to come pick it up in three years. You need to stop getting stuff mailed to my house. So we did this instead. And we got the pop culture one. Uh, Vlad the Impaler from uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula. Now, my understanding for Bram Stoker's Dracula is that this is public domain. I believe he never uh, put in copyright for this, so anybody can make Dracula whenever they want. Nobody owns it. That's what I believe is the truth on the Dracula license anyway. Now, this is semi-horror-esque. This is part of the Retro Toys line. And this is the Ouija planchette. This is the little device that you push around on the Ouija board for fortune telling, etc. Special edition. This was also a Books A Million exclusive. You got the little Ouija planchette holding the Ouija board. And this is the one my son wanted. And he said, Dad, why does it say Rhino on it? And I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> That's not Rhino, son. It's... Can you see it here? Let me see if I can get it in focus where you can see it. It's Ouija. It's Ouija. But you just can't see the A because he's holding the board in front of it. But it actually says Ouija on the planchette. But when you see it this way, it looks like it says Rhino. So I understand why he asked that, but it it's Ouija. <laughs> okay, as I mentioned, we got two of these because my son wants one. He thinks it's cute. This is part of the uh, retro series of toys. It came in the same wave as the Barrel of Monkeys, the Play-Doh Cup, the um, pop and Trouble, a couple others I can't remember. I, I haven't picked them up yet. I want to get them, but I haven't gotten them, but I definitely wanted to get this one, and that was Books A Million exclusive. All right, that's it for the horror or supernatural ones. So now we're gonna move on to Here's Shazam. This is glow in the dark Shazam. And this was a Hot Topic exclusive, if I'm not mistaken. This one's several years old now. This goes back to 2018, not too old, I guess, four years. And I think primarily the lightning bolt on uh, his chest, Billy Batson, as he transforms into Shazam, but that glows in the dark. So we got a lot of glow in the dark pops today. And uh, we also got this Entertainment Earth exclusive, the Diamond Glitter Edition of Elvis in his 1968 Comeback Special jumpsuit. Look at the glitter on that. Elvis Presley. I have most of the new, uh, the new wave of Elvis pops here. The Jailhouse Rock, the Blue Hawaii, and the Comeback Special. I have all three of these. But this is the first one of the special editions of his that I have. I don't think there's other special editions of the other two. So, I like, I like Elvis music. Nice tone to it. And finally, last one in the box of nine here is good old Clark Griswold. This is from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation special edition. I think this was a uh, For Your Entertainment exclusive. And he's got the, this was the sled, and he put a lot of cooking spray on it so that he'd go down the hill really quickly. And he went so fast that he wound up burning a hole through the bottom of the sled. Chevy Chase, National Lampoon Christmas Vacation. All right, well, that's it. That's what we got today. I'm going to close off now because I know my son's chomping at the bit to grab one of these Ouija planchettes from me and pop it out of the box. But I appreciate you watching. Thank you so very much for spending your time here with me. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.